still here. That's a good sign. You haven't run away. You know, the way I do math, I try to make it simpler. I try to do it with some object lessons, and I think that might help us. So, today we're talking about household versus metric. All right, some of you are used to cups, ounces, that kind of thing, and yet medications come out in milliliters, milligrams, that type of thing. How, how do they go back and forth? That's what we're going to figure out right now. So on the board, you can see I have one teaspoon. A little tea is a teaspoon. A big tea is a tablespoon. And it takes three, three teaspoons to make one tablespoon. A teaspoon is five milliliters. What's five milliliters? How much is that? Glad you asked. This is a five milliliter syringe. I used um, cola so you could see it better. <laughs> okay. That is what five milliliters looks like. When I put it in a med cup, it looks like that. That's a teaspoon. That's five milliliters. Okay, that's what it looks like. That's important that you know that because if something is ordered and yet it comes and it's this big, big bunch, you're like, that doesn't look right. You've got to be able to know and understand these things. That's five milliliters, which is the same as a teaspoon. Okay, moving on. Three teaspoons equals a tablespoon. One tablespoon is 15 milliliters. That would be three of these. Three of these equals a tablespoon or 15 milliliters. If one is five, three is 15. Five, 10, 15, right? So let's see what that looks like. And I want you to notice something All right, and when you measure, you get down like this and look there. Okay, so that's 15. What is that? That's one tablespoon, 15 milliliters. How full is my med cup? Halfway full. A med cup holds 30 milliliters. Every med cup, well, I shouldn't see every because I'm sure there's some, your standard everyday run of the mill med cups that we all use are 30 milliliter, which is one ounce. This is half an ounce. A tablespoon is half an ounce, which is 15 milliliters. Three teaspoons. That's half an ounce. Now, two tablespoons equals 30 milliliters, which is one ounce. So, if I take three more of these, um, this time I'll, or wait, this is a 10 milliliter here. Here's a 10 milliliter, so all I have to do is have a 10 and a 5 to make 15 more, right? Is it, wouldn't that be right? And then I would have, looky there. That's 30 milliliters. It's also one ounce. So, how many ounces is in a cup? Eight. Eight ounces are in a cup. How many ounces are in this? I'm going to go grab some. Stay right there. In this can of soda. Twelve. See? Twelve ounces are in my can of soda. So if I have 12 ounces in my can of soda, how many of these will fit in here? This is how many ounces? One. One ounce. So 12 of these will fit in here, right? How many milliliters is this? times 12 to know how many milliliters are in this can of soda. 
I know there's 12 ounces and I know there's 30 milliliters in an ounce. That's how you switch back and forth. So, having said that, let's do an exercise, okay? Remember, 30 milliliters is one ounce. So if I'm doing I and O, intake and output, and I say that Jane had five ounces of orange juice and one half cup of coffee. And I want to know what her intake was in milliliters because we cannot do intake in ounces. It must be in milliliters. That's the correct medical terminology and correct way that we're supposed to do it. So how would I figure that out? Well, how do I take ounces and make it into milliliters? Hint, I just told you 30 times. 30 is your magic number, okay? So 30 times five, three times five is what? 15, right? So 150 milliliters. So this is 150 milliliters. Half a cup of coffee. How much? How many ounces is in a cup? Eight. And this is half a cup. So how many ounces? Four. So 30 times four. Three times four is 12, so that's 120. So 120 milliliters. Add it together. Zero, five, six, seven, one, two, 270 milliliters would be this person's intake. Understand? So if you're changing from ounces to milliliters, you multiply by 30 because this is one ounce and I have 30 milliliters in here. This is five milliliters, which is the same as one teaspoon.